hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel i am so excited about today oh my god i've been procrastinating so long about getting my youtube channel going but today i am going to be sharing my journey with you guys and before i start i want to welcome all of you guys to my channel i hope you enjoy everything that i'm about to bring to you guys I hope you like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. And along the journey, you could tell me like things that you would like to hear more of and if it's good stuff that I'm bringing to you or not. All right, so I wanna share with you guys everything about me. Um, so who's Donna Prescott? Donna Prescott is a mom of a 24-year-old. She's a wife. She's a salon owner. I've been in the hair industry for over 23 years now. And wow, it's been such a ride, okay? For me to pretty much explain to you what the Donna Prescott Beauty brand is about, I have to kind of go back to the beginning and bring you guys up to speed. So let's take it from the top. So my name is Donna Prescott. I was formerly known as Donna Decai. I was born on the island of St. Lucia. I am the first child of five to my parents and I remember being raised in a family full of love and you know it was very family oriented. Both my mom and my dad's side of the family had many relatives you know I remember a lot of lots of aunts uncles cousins and I always remember just always having family around so for the first 10 years of my life I have this beautiful memory of always being around family fast forward to 10 um, when I started high school I I just remember you know being raised also in a strict household and <clears throat> We were Seventh-day Church of God. It's similar to Adventist, but it's a little different. And religion in our house was very strict also. So I never um, was allowed to wear makeup, jewelry, do my hair. I was never allowed to wear pants and none of that stuff. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? But going into high school and being exposed to like all my new friends and now I'm a little bit older and I could be a little bit more um, outspoken, I started being exposed to like a different world than what I was raised and accustomed to. At that point, um, I, I started wanting to explore more things i had more questions but um there was not really a lot of room for for questions and discussion at home so y'all know what that what happened with that um at that point in time in my life um me and my mom really butt heads a lot so my mom pretty much was the disciplinarian of the family and my dad was the breadwinner so and he was the type of person that was not very spoken and okay. involved so it was more my mom and I feel like her way of um, handling raising her children the style it just was like a lot of conflicts between me and her so my teenage years was pretty rough and that's a story for another time which i don't mind sharing with you guys but um i was known as the troubled child and my teen years with my parents was very very hard um i think my parents decided that it was a good idea to actually have me go live in America with my grandmother, which is my dad's mom. And they felt like the change of scenery would have been really great for me. And it would expose me to like a different lifestyle. But I feel more so it was a means of like, um, 
getting me away from my little boyfriend at the time. Oh my God! Wow! <laughs> but that's another story also. Um, <sighs> that, um, I don't even really think that they gave it real thought. And till now, I mean, we've had conversations about it and we're in a way better place, but it's still a thing of like, we just thought it was the best decision. So at the age of 16, I was sent to America and I was excited and happy about moving to America because listen, when you grow up in a, a small island, you know, you hear these stories about New York and America and you're just like so excited. So at that point I was like, okay, oh well, I don't mind. I, I, I'm, I'm fine with moving. So I was happy to move to America at 16. I, um, I did my transition and in the beginning it was very exciting until I realized when I got here that, whoa, I really have no immediate family around me and the new environment that I had to adjust to pretty much was a little unsupervised. Um, there was not that much of a, a family foundation and structure behind um, <clears throat> me moving here and living with my grandma. My grandma, she did um, live in a living health aid nurse um, at the time. And um, in, in my grandma's household was my two aunts. One of my aunts had her family, her husband and her two children. And my other aunt, um, she was a single younger aunt. And that was kind of my environment when I initially moved. And because of lack of supervision, I just felt like, woo, woo, I got all this freedom. And I moved here, I went to finish on my high school. They put me a grade behind. And um, by the 12th grade, I was 18 and I was pregnant. 